Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you a pretty different one. This is going to be loot from 10 hours of killing tortoises. The goal for today's video is to explore all the drops, the experience, and the overall profit from this 10 hour. The real question is, are these ever going to be worth killing? Well, hopefully we'll find out the answer to that question at the end of today's video. So these tortoises that I decided to kill for this video can be found northwest of the Grand Tree and the Tree Gnome Stronghold, just north of the Swamp. And you can also find Trainer Knacklepin, because uh, he is in charge of their combat development. So as it goes for killing these tortoises, I was killing two normal ones that are uh, both combat level 79, and then after that I would move on to the tortoise with the riders, and that is level 92. Now this level 92 tortoise does take a little bit longer to kill because as you can see it does come along with three gnomes that attack you right after you kill it starting with a melee one followed by the ranger and then the major luckily though you can just one hit them all with a 10 and sometimes actually when you do kill the level 92 tortoise not all of the gnomes attack you um, it's kind of just random when that happens but uh, yeah there would be multiple occasions where I would kill that tortoise and uh, just the melee one would attack me and then after I killed him they simply would leave me alone. So realistically, uh, the only difference between killing that and the other tortoises was it would take a couple extra seconds, if that. Uh, but it is important to note that you are able to get pink boots, pink robe bottoms, and a pink robe top from that higher level tortoise, and you are unable to get those from the lower level ones. So it seems to uh, me that the drop table is a slightly better from the level 92 one compared to the level 79s. So I'm glad for this video we did kill all three tortoises instead of the uh, lower level ones. That is also why the thumbnail is pink. I don't think I've ever had a pink thumbnail before, but I figured, you know, what a unique monster to kill, and also what a Strange drop to have on the drop table, pink clothing. No other color, just pink. So I figured in honor of that, we'll make the uh, thumbnail pink this time. Not that I make the thumbnails, but yeah, shout out to the pink. Uh, hopefully we do get some uh, pink drops during this video. One thing I did not expect to get was a dragon impling. Uh, I found this while I was actually during the first hour of these tortoises, and I did manage to get three amulets of glory from it. So that was pretty awesome. That's uh, something that I did not expect. The glories are definitely the best thing to get for an Iron Man account, really good for rune crafting and traveling everywhere. But yeah, getting back to the tortoises here, uh, the inventory would fill up relatively quickly. I think I was banking once every 25 to 30 minutes, and so I made a judgment call not to pick up any of the low tier seeds or the pineapples or the unnoted log drops. Other than that, I was picking up pretty much everything else, um, and there was very, very little seed drops that I ignored uh, because the seeds are just not that common here. I would always pick up the cabbage seeds as well as the noted cabbage and the shell drops and pretty Pretty much anything else and as you guys can also see we got the arrows in the inventory stacking up the lower level tortoises drop the steel arrows and the higher level tortoise does drop those mithril arrows so that's why you see a smaller amount of those compared to the steels you can get normal tortoise shells from both of the tortoises but the perfect shell you can only get from the level 92 ones so that is untradeable and we will see what that perfect shell does at the very end of the video the perfect shell drop from the rider tortoise is 1 in 64 and those beautiful pink boots on the ground right there is 1 in 128. That is the first time I have unlocked a pink boot drop on this Iron Man account and they really are stylish. They go really well with the obsidian armor which is the segue into the gear choice for this video. Pretty much I mean you can see it on screen at the very beginning there just this set of obsidian with a whip and DFS. All honesty I could have brought a dragon defender here but I'm just so used to bringing this dragon fire shield everywhere and it's just a great shield. I mean, it's really uh, amazing for defense bonus. It's very cheap if you're a main account. And I actually obtained this dragon fire shield from a black dragon many, many years ago. So very nostalgic for me. In the very first hour, I did manage to kill 130 tortoises, and then my kill speeds did go down to about uh, 115 per hour because I was also killing spiritual rangers on my main account. And as most of you know, using a blowpipe in the uh, God Wars Zeros area, you know, it's a lot of clicking and attention. So these tortoises, although they were semi-AFK because they did take a little bit to kill and, and whatnot, um, you know, still only managed about 115 kills per hour. Every inventory, um, I was just bringing a superset dose 
potatoes. Uh, sometimes I'd bring the full potion, but uh, most of the time I would just need one sip per uh, potion per inventory. And I'd always have preserve on the whole entire time, so it did cost me a couple pair of potions. But luckily no food was used, uh, except in the very first inventory when I thought that I would need uh, 25 sharks. But now you don't really need food here. The max hit from the normal tortoise is a 10, and the other tortoise uh, higher level one is an 11, but they rarely ever hit you, so that is good to know. If you ever do decide to kill these things for some reason, uh, make sure to bring a herb sack, because as you can see in the bank tab there, uh, you will get some herbs occasionally, 1 in 50 for the guam, and 1 in 550 for the dwarf weed. Everything else is in between those two numbers, so really, you know, every now and again you'll get one. Other than that, the drops are very interesting here. I mean, there's not too many, but at the same time, there is, you know, somewhat of a decent amount. It's almost a full inventory once uh, you kind of bring everything out at the end. There is a lot of low tier seed drops, uh, but they're all kind of like 1 in 150 to 1 in 2600. Uh, snape grass seed would definitely be the best seed that you can get here, and the worst seed would probably be the potato seed. And here we are three and a half hours into the video, and we did receive our second pink piece, the pink robe top. Two out of three pieces obtained so far. Um, the pink hat is not dropped here, just the boots, bottom, and top. So hopefully we can finish our set of pink off, you know, big accomplishment there. Put that in the uh, fashion scape tab once we're done with it. But yeah, getting back to the drops, you can also expect uh, two different rune drops, them being earth and nature. One in three natures and 10 to 14 earth runes at a time, and that is a one in 12 drop. You can also get swamp toads here if you don't feel like picking them up off of the ground in the swamp and that is a 1 in 25 at a current price of 500 GP so that's not too bad at all. The normal tortoise shells uh, which you can get in a quantity of 1 to 3 at a 1 in 16 rate are 2.5k a piece so you know you do have the potential to which what I got multiple times during this video to get a 7.6k drop here. That's pretty much the best you can get um, as it goes for value wise. I don't know if people buy tortoise shells. They can be sold to Barlack and the Dorga Shikan area for 600 coins, but uh, the difference between that and the perfect shells is that the perfect shells you can get 600 coins as well as some crafting experience, and we will see all of that experience being gained at the end of the video. So yeah, realistically, I'm not sure why anyone would ever buy a tortoise shell. It looks like uh, the daily volume is 11, so it looks like 11 are sold every single day, and the price has always been, uh, seems to be around 2 to 5k, so you know, it really depends depends on who's buying them and what day it is, but yeah, that is pretty much the most valuable drop that you can get here. And speaking of drops, we did manage to get the pink robe bottoms, so we did complete the full set of pink robes from the tortoises. That is quite something. I remember uh, in RuneScape 3 there was a war tortoise as a familiar, but other than that, I'm not too familiar with any other tortoises in RuneScape. Um, there is, of course, the same tortoises that you see in this video. You can find them also in the battlefield of Kazard, uh, there is a spawn of two there, and they're both level 92, so I prefer to kill them in the Tree Gnome Stronghold. It kind of seems like they're home here, you know, and they're not at war over in the uh, battlefield, that is. And yeah, they were released into the game uh, April 24th, 2006, and they've always been members only. They've always been in these two areas, and you know, pretty nostalgic monster, of course, but uh, you know, maybe one day there will be uh, some things added to it or upgraded to it, and this monster might have a lot of potential or a lot of profit potential with it in the future if Jagex ever decided to kind of just take another look at it because I think this tortoise has a lot of potential. It's, it's really a uh, interesting looking monster and it's got a lot of history behind it. So yeah, with all that being said, I just spent 10 hours killing it and it was quite the experience. I finished this one earlier tonight and it is currently 1.40 in the morning, so I'm doing the editing part now. It sure was a different kind of monster to kill, but uh, I'm glad I did it. So now we get to see, you know, from 10 hours and over 1150 50 kills what exactly we got from this tortoise or these tortoises i should say so here we go let's do the one and only price check we have all of our pink clothing all of the shells the toads as well as the cabbage 1.2 mil from 10 hours of killing tortoises those worm battas being 1.5k and the toad crunchies being 4.6k those are some uh, pretty decent drops so as i was trading in my perfect shells i guess the uh long bones and curve bones in my bank also got me 81k construction xp so that was pretty cool but overall from the 21 perfect shells we did get 12.6k gp and 10.5k crafting xp so we averaged 
averaged about 1k crafting XP an hour during this video. A decent amount of attack XP though, I think we got close to uh, 300 or 400k in that. And overall, we got a set of pink robes too, so it wasn't too bad. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video. I'll see you in about three days with a new one, and until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.